Hello everybody, it's January 14th, 2021, and this is my first time coming on, I think, in the new year. I just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I haven't been on much, uh, I've been kind of like taking some time out, and today I felt like uh, coming down to the forest, and I really felt like uh, just coming on and just saying hi to all you guys. So. It's really bright out. Look, the sun is behind me. <laughs> it looks like I kind of have like a halo going on around me, doesn't it? It's all, that is so strange. Like my hair is like turning into a halo. So I'm an angel today. <laughs> I do know. Anyway, um, I just want to, before I get started with the vlog, I just want to say thank you to all the people that have sent condolences to me. Um, there's been a lot of people reaching out. Uh, as if you all, all know, I lost my father and my mother in the span of 17 days over the Christmas holidays. So my, my father passed away on Christmas Eve and my mother passed away on um, Saturday, the, uh, I think it was the 9th of January, 9th or the 10th, I don't even know what day it was anymore. And um, I just want to thank everybody that has reached out to me and sent me all their condolences. It means a lot. And um, I'm just kind of taking some time out this year and uh, doing some things for myself and going within and just finding out what it is that, that makes my heart sing. And because I was starting to feel a little bit kind of stale, if <laughs> that makes any sense, um, last year. And I thought it would be nice to just spend the next little bit of time. Um, I'm not, I, I closed my schedule down. I don't have anything scheduled. So anything that I do on the Shine Your Light network is all impromptu. Like I just come on and I'll, and I'll if I feel like doing an interview and the everything feels right for it, then I'll be doing it. If I don't, then I won't. <laughs> and um, it's kind of like I'm learning how to live in the now in the now moment and um, I'm finding uh, it to be very peaceful and uh, just shutting down from all of the stuff that has been going on even on social media and everything every now and then I um, like peek on there and see what's happening and the energy from what I've been seeing on the social media platforms has been kind of not nice um, there's a lot going on in the world, and there's an, even in the spiritual community, I'm finding that the uh, people are wanting to be right. Everybody wants to be right. Everybody has the information, and everybody wants to be right, and it's like the heart isn't there anymore. The love isn't there. It feels like um, people are actually hating each other for, the, for their beliefs and what they believe in. And it doesn't help with like what's happening with the politics in the United States. And um, I just want to say something about this. People, it doesn't matter. If you're putting all of your hopes and wishes into a politician, you're giving your power away. <laughs> because a politician is just one person in this world full of billions and billions of people. And it's just one person, and one person isn't going to be able to change the world. It's all of us that can change the world. And stop focusing on the negative and trying to bring out, like there's conspiracy theories and all this stuff going out and everybody's focusing on what this and that and everything else. You're wasting time. That's what I'm feeling. That I'm wasting time. Spend some time just doing whatever it is that you love to do. And that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling going forward into the new earth energies. If you allow your vibration to be on the level of that of the what's happening in the politicians and the, con the conspiracy theories, if you keep your vibration at that level then that's what you're gonna that that's what you're going to get back and 
It's kind of like what you think about, you bring about. What you dream about, you bring about. Like what you, it's your thoughts matter. And right now is very, uh, it's an important time to really start focusing on what are you thinking? What are you putting out? What are your words? And what are you bringing out to the world? Because every word, every thought that you're thinking has a vibration in it. And it's your choice. What vibration would you like to hold? And that brings us into the cards and what I chose, what I um, chose today. I said, I'm going to go out to talk to the collective. I have no idea what's really been going on. I don't pay attention to a lot of the stuff. And, um, oh no, oh here they are. I was like, oh no, my cards are gone. Um, so, I had to go back and I had to look because I chose two of the cards that I chose last, I think it was November 20th. And um, I was like, oh my God, they want me to talk about this again. And I don't really want to talk about it, but this is what they want me to talk about. And so I'm going to bring the cards back through. This one is the ominous um, card that doesn't have a name to it. And it, it's all about trickster, trickster type energy. And if you um, saw my video on November 20th, it, I think it was, I got it written down in here. It's like vlog 72 or something like that. Go back and have a look because it talks about this. And then it also talks about the rocks, which is the energy of um, what's happening. So with the in the political arena over in the United States, and this is the energy that you're having there on both sides. And um, so those are those two cards. And then I brought, and then I got, I said, what can we do to help this energy out? And I chose from my um, brand new Lemurian Star Child deck. I chose this card, it's called Vision of, of Unity. It's a beautiful card. And it says, focus on the light. Right to see, releasing illusion, and penal, act, penal gland activation. So I'm going to hold up, because we don't really need to hold up those trickster energies or anything like that. I'm going to hold up this one the whole time that I'm talking. So that um, you can get the energy that's coming off from this card. Because there's light codes inside of this card, if you can see. And... Um, it's just a beautiful card and I want you to be able to feel the energy off from it. Okay, so here we go with what I wrote down. So I chose these same cards back about one month ago in vlog number 72 called Back to the Forest. That was when I came back to the forest. It was all about the energy happening in the political arena. You all know that since then a lot has happened. So today I decided to do a collective reading for all of you and I was astonished the exact same cards came up. They are not great energy to be totally honest. So I decided to pull a third card from my new Lemurian Star Child deck to see what we can do as a collective to get past all of the controversy going on in the United States and our world. So I drew the vision of Unity card which urges humanity to focus on the light, release any illusion you may be focusing on, and move past this by working on you instead of everyone else, and go within and activate your penal gland. When you do this, you no longer waste valuable time and energy focusing on things you might not be able to do anything about. Instead, focus, focus on what you can do to make your life better. Waiting for a politician to make everything right in your life will only leave you feeling alone and powerless. Before you can unify, one needs to unify within their heart space first. By envisioning unity for all, this is the key. This is the key to your freedom, dear ones. When you seek a vision of unity, one can find resolution of all fragmented journeys, which ultimately leads one to the, to the divine healing. Sp 
spend your time immersed in other things in, in other things only keeps you busy on not focusing within instead maybe focus on your inner truth and know you are already perfect I know some of you feel you are doing good by focusing on what is wrong in the world but can't you see dear ones this is only stopping you from focusing on what is right in your world stop dear ones Please to stop all of this nonsense. It doesn't matter what is right or wrong. All that matters is the love. Where is the love, dear ones? If you detach from all this outer drama, you can find it. Because love, dear ones, is inside you, and it's inside me. One person does not ever have the right to take away anyone else's freedom. Your freedom comes from within. Go within and focus instead on the love. Take back your sovereignty. The love is all that matters. And so that was what I was shown and I just wanted to say a little bit more about that. You know guys, um, the social media platforms. This is what I would like to talk about. I was thinking about that on my, my walk down here to the forest. And I've noticed that everybody is leaving Facebook and YouTube and all of the different things because of privacy things and all of that kind of nonsense. Everybody's like tired of it or whatever. But guys, there's, there isn't another place to go to that isn't the same I mean you might think that they are but the world isn't in a place yet where there's a platform that's based on love people are moving themselves to um, different places that like telegram I think I don't know what that is but all I know is that when I looked it up the word hate is in the, in the description of it. Conspiracy and hate. We need a platform out there, guys. If there's somebody out here that's listening, that has the ability to bring out a platform similar to YouTube, similar to Facebook, similar to all these things, that can bring a platform based on love. I'll move there tomorrow. I move my stuff all the way over to that. But why am I going to leave one place to go to another place that seems to not be based in love? And it's almost like, what is that saying? You can, something about, there's a saying out there that know your enemy or whatever at least the one that you're, at least you're, something about at least you know what this platform is doing. The other ones we don't know yet. And I don't, everybody's running, everybody's running and they think they're getting a better platform. They're getting a place where they can have freedom of speech. And the freedom of speech that seems to be in those platforms is very much full of hate and, con and conspiracy theories. We need a place that's called about love. If there is somebody out there that knows how to make a platform and has the money and the ability to do so, could you please make us a platform based on love? I know there's a man, my, he's in my group, his name is David Starr, and he is getting an app ready it's called like it's called the divine ray and right now the app is only like for one minute to one and a half minute videos inside of there and that's the way it has to be at the beginning so the app is up on Android and it's only in test mode right now I think it's only in like beta testing and I don't know if it's up in iPhone yet but Go in there if you can and see if you can help out like by just getting your base in there and start sending out little bursts of love. 
little bursts of joy and little bursts of happiness out to the world on this platform. And eventually, he will be able to somehow make it where we can start doing live uh, interviews inside of there and longer videos, just like what you have on YouTube. But it's going to take time to be able to get that there, the way that the the way that it is to get an app out there it costs money and it's going to take time to be able to get it to where it needs to go but if you guys want a platform that's based on love go there and start spreading the love all over it and bring that energy that vibration into there and then maybe eventually someday there will be a platform out there that allows you to post what I'm doing today, like this vlog or this video that's a little bit longer or a class or healing sessions or astral travels and stuff like this and things that you might be interested in, in a positive love vibration. But right now, I'm going to stick to staying on the YouTube because I don't know, I'm not going to run to someplace else until I know that the place that I go to is full of the vibration of love. If we stick together, we could we could do this. We could if we all got together in unity and we brought out and we didn't worry about like what one person believes over another because we all have our own truth and we all have our own beliefs. And we should honor each and every one of us. No one is right and no one is wrong. I have no more to say. So for now, you can find me on my YouTube channel. If you're seeing this on Facebook, please consider following me in uh, on my YouTube channel. It's called Shine Your Light Network. And um, I put the link inside the description of this video. So if you would like to subscribe and like to, uh, if you resonated with anything I had to say, um, come on over. I have like... I think over over 70 I think it's around 75 vlogs video vlogs where I come out in the forest and I just try to inspire people and um, and I also do interviews and um, I interview people who are out there shining their light and out there doing it and I love to promote people that are out there doing whatever it is that makes their heart sing and um, so come on over to the YouTube channel and you can check out all the videos that are there and um, I don't know maybe maybe the world will be a better place someday if we all just got out there and just started putting bursts of love out to the world so I love you all and I will talk to you the next time I feel like coming out and saying hi to you I love you all and I just want to say happy 2021 and let's make this year a year to remember in a positive way. Guys, we can do it. Mind over matter. Think about what your thoughts are. Think about what you're putting out to the world. And instead of putting hate and conspiracy out to the world, why not try putting love out to the world? Be creative. What can you create for 2021?